r slash ask reddit what did you think was a weird quirk you had that turned out to be a symptom of a mental slash physical health issue my wife had an abnormally small throat as a child and would hide food under the couch to avoid having to eat it her mom just thought she was weird until the doctor said something about it when he was checking tonsils she felt really bad for dismissing it Sometimes if I was really tired or jetlaged I'd wake up and for a few seconds the room would look larger than it actually was or I wouldn't recognize things that were totally familiar even though I knew they were things I'd seen before, Jamali's VU, reverse deja vu. Turns out I had epilepsy without realizing for years. I later developed other types of seizures. Wow, that sounds quite scary. I had headaches for several years. I was basically told it was nothing. Nope, baseball sized brain tumor. Damn. You okay now? It makes my heart feel full to know you're still here and your family didn't have to go through the pain of losing you. My grades would drop every winter slash late spring. I live way north and get severe vitamin D withdrawal. I get so tired and all I want to do is sleep and eat during the winter. I increased my vitamin D, I take a daily plus vitamin D, and didn't really notice a difference. Increased my vitamin B intake and felt better. Not great but I have enough energy to get through the day at least. It Thanks for sharing this. We live north and I always supplement my two kids with vitamin D during winters. It's really important. I thought I could see the future I in fact have bipolar 1 with psychosis. Repeating words in my head since I was a child. Then one day I went to the ER and I was extremely anxious and the doctor gave me an anti-anxiety pill and I noticed that ended the repetitive thought and words. IIBP1 squad the doc gave me two antidepressants and I thought the government took my car. Needing constant naps. I was already on a stimulant for my ADHD but my body demanded that I nap for 2 hours just 4 hours after I woke up in the morning, after receiving a full 10 hours. Turns out I'm narcoleptic. Can you be narcoleptic without having the typical symptom of suddenly falling asleep? I have a friend who's always tired and always sleeps a lot, and we're wondering if she might have something. I used to make sure that any sentences I said were a multiple of 3. It then evolved to 6, 12, 24, 48 and... 96 I would say words to myself to round them to those numbers. I used to make 3 fit into everything. Volume levels were at a multiple of 3. Turns out it's OCD and I didn't figure that out until I was 30. The moment I found out I was like, ah, yeah that definitely tracks. Periods got heavier as I got older. Just assumed it was part of aging, until my doc ordered an ultrasound. Fibroids caused the heavy bleeding. I had the same happen to me. It was so bad it started affecting my heart and I was severely anemic. A partial hysterectomy solved it. My friends and I thought my basement was haunted but I was the only one who really believed it, because I had seen figures there. Yeah, house wasn't haunted, lol. Somehow it took me years of mental illness before I made that connection. Is that illness schizophrenia? Like you would see shadowy figures? When I was about 13 14 I used to complain about stomach aches and sore throats a lot. My parents thought I was faking it to stay home from school and the doctors blamed everything on anxiety slash periods. Turns out I have a hiatal hernia. My stomach acid was leaking into my throat when I was lying down at night and was starting to damage my esophagus. I have OCD that presents in this way. More like intrusive thoughts running wild. My dad had this. He had to get esophageal ablations and a false sphincter created from the top of his stomach. He can't really burp or throw up anymore. Used to never have irregular periods. Didn't think much of it, I was always active and running so I figured it was because of that. Turns out it was a brain tumor messing with my hormones, smiley face. Okay, wow. That took a sharp left turn, was expecting the answer to be PCOs. Hope you are doing better now, smiley face. Growing up my mom's side of the family always claimed the women were special and like witches. We could see ghosts, hear their voices, etc. I have so many stories of seeing ghosts, or watching things move that shouldn't have. I hear a lot of random voices, once someone whispered in my ear can you hear me? When I was alone. Turns out we're all either bipolar, me, with added depression for fun. Or schizophrenic. The ghosts are more fun though. Turns out my anxiety and negativity was a whopping dose of OCD. Can you elaborate on your symptoms? Oftentimes found myself falling in the middle of the day and needing a nap. Plus, struggling to keep weight in check, cold sensitivity, and dry skin. Cue the diagnoses of Hashimoto's thyroiditis, anemia, and low iron slash vitamin D. Recently, unexplained abdominal pain unrelated to my periods, wasn't found on ultrasound and requires CT scan, likely endometriosis. 
My family still rags on me for how lazy I was as a child because I slept 11 to 12 hours a night and was always exhausted. Yeah, Hashimoto's. My small daughter always had breath that smelled of sweets. So yeah, I always thought ah she's sweet inside and out. Nope, she had type 1 diabetes. I'll kick myself forever over that one. Sometimes I repeat whole sentences on a loop like a broken record in my brain, the fuck. Ketones suck 100%. Smell like pear drops to me. Deleted. I used to scratch my head without realizing, and then scratching my skin as well. It became an addiction and obsession, without the ability to control it. Turns out I'm suffering from dermatillomania. Trichotillomania here. My inability to focus in school on subjects I didn't care for, chronic lateness, poor impulse control ad, of course. Unfortunately, no one considered that possibility when I was young, because supposedly only boys had that. Hey friend, same. Literally my whole life being told I just wasn't trying hard enough and was being lazy and dramatic when I tried to explain that I was struggling on all fronts. GAD, depression, and ADHD. Diagnosed at 30. Still struggle with thinking I'm stupid and lazy. R slash ADHD women has been a very validating space for me. Rehearsing conversations and their potential branches before speaking to someone, being obsessed with textures and touch, needing to shave every hair from the neck down. Otherwise, I could feel them being moved and compressed by my clothes. Oh, and using quotes and references in 90% of my conversations. Turns out they're not quirks, and coupled with my issues, they make me rather autistic. I wish I knew 20 years ago. People don't rehearse conversations. Food cravings that went beyond just silly little hankerings and became extreme to the point of damaging my teeth, causing rapid weight gain or giving me kidney stones. Turns out food hyperfixation is a symptom of ADHD. Once a food hit just right at the right time, it was all I could think about and wanted to eat for weeks or months. Makes sense, as eating can trigger a dopamine hit. Sweet, sweet dopamine. I used to start fights as a kid just for the rush. I get stuck on words and parts of songs all day, afraid to take medication though. I thought I had just a bunch of bad habits I could never stop rolling my eyes or making weird throat noises no matter how much I tried. Tourette's, ladies and gentlemen. It got a lot worse once I got to college and was under more stress. Oh, you know, I always thought that my weird habit of obsessively counting things was just my unique charm. It turns out it was actually a symptom of OCD. Always had weird looking nails since I was a kid. Like kind of flat, wavy, and with vertical lines. Occasionally, I would get extreme random pain in my knees. I had purpura, aka Hanox Conline syndrome, when I was 18 months old. Anyways, I live a normal life and play sports until, fast forward to my mid-twenties, I start getting sausage fingers after every volleyball practice. I must have an injury or carpal tunnel, I think. Many doctors and tests later, turns out I have psoriatic arthritis. That I just wanted to lay around, turns out I had depression and I was low in iron. Anxiety or ADHD. I would let all my friends feel the ball in my poop in high school. One day I told my mom, she immediately called the doctor. Fast forward the next month and I had surgery to remove a tumor. It ended up being benign. Letting all your friends feel you up is the weirdest part of this story. I didn't like eating as a very young kid. I was underweight and anemic. Turns out my tonsils were hiwiyuk and once they got removed, I could eat. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.